The quote goes like this. One day or day one. One day or day one. Ah, uh, I'll do it one day. Okay, that's up to you. Or, and I like this one better, day one. For those of you that don't know, that was The Rock. Hopefully everybody knows that was The Rock or you've been living under a rock. Um, that was a that was a great video by him. It was short, simple, a couple words, but it's the point got across. If you don't, if you keep saying one day, I think that statement is making an excuse in itself. So I think that by making that statement, you're not actually committed or you don't want it as bad as you're fantasizing about it saying day one or taking that first step to get started is what's going to get you to that goal and that first step may not seem like anything big it may not seem like you've done much but it's required it's necessary in order to get to that goal one day one day is been the detriment to societies before us and it'll be way more of a detriment to societies after us and why i say that is everybody put on hold their needs for their wants i mean one day i'm gonna stop eating cakes and pies and cookies and i'm gonna go to the gym then you look up 15 years later and you're sitting there with diabetes, you're obese, you're taking insulin shots, and then you want everybody to feel sorry for you because you said one day. Day one is something people don't do unless they're highly motivated and they're sick and tired of the situation they're in, no matter what it is. It don't have to be finances. It don't have to be anything. It could be broken marriages. It could be abusive marriages. It could be bad parenting. It could be jobs. It could be whatever. People don't say this is day one until they're sick and tired of being sick and tired. And when I say it's going to be more detriment in the future than it is in the past is is in the past, you know, you had, you know, kids, you know, talking about the boomers who had, you know, parents that was, you know, from the, maybe from the Great Depression, you know, maybe from Vietnam and things of that nature. People that was hard that went through some things. Now today, the kids today, I'm talking about millennials and belong and further along, they are pacified, they're, they're, emotionally coddled they don't know how to deal with hard times so they could throw the word mental illness on top of everything and shut down um they don't know how to take criticism they don't know how to handle themselves in a confrontation um and that will and those things will make them shut down so they will say oh one day things will get better one things will get better and if we want to take it to a financial landscape, it's the same thing with people in personal finances. Everybody think that everything should be given to them. And then they hear the words of advice from people uh, telling them, hey, this is what you need to do to get to where you want to be. But they will always just say, you know, one day my mental health will be in a situation and get me there. It just holds them up as a crutch. It doesn't push them through to start saying day one and day one is something that affected me a lot because i used to be that one day i'll do it one day i'll do it one day i'll get off my ass and stop spending every paycheck i got one day i'll start investing one day i'll actually do what it takes and then when life hit me in the face and knocked me on my ass a couple of times and then 
I was sick and tired of being in this situation because I didn't have a backdrop or safety net or somebody house to go sleep in or somebody house to sleep on. And then I start saying day one. But Alex, before I go further into it, so what do you think? What do you think about that statement about day one or one day? I think that, like I said, I think you, you make an excuse when you say one day. Um, by taking that, and I like that you brought up obesity because that goes back to my point. When, you know, day one doesn't look like much. Day one of changing your diet, you're not going to go from 400 pounds to 150. Um, but that day one, you change your diet and it's doing that day after day and you'll see weight drop. And so when people say that one day they'll do it i don't I, I don't think they're serious i don't think they're willing to take that step and this goes back to our point that we've made before on you can't there's no perfect timing you know you you want to time the market you want to time you know oh right now is not a good time to buy a house right now is not a good time to do this or you know i let me just eat this cake right now that's that's offered to me at work and then tomorrow i'll start my diet like you there's not going to be any perfect time to start anything you might come to a point where you have more advantages that will that are more convenient for you starting but the key is just starting it's just getting started so if you don't have the advantages, figure out a way to actually keep going on the path when you take that first step. Just figure it out from there. Make Take the action to actually take that risk and just get started. I think people need to learn to just jump into things and figure things out for themselves rather than expecting someone to hold their hand and guide them through you know, what they, what they want. Well, yeah, in, in life, and you know, you listen to things like, you know, people on YouTube and things like that, and they always, you know, they, they hit you with the big number. And I understand why people always say one day, because they're thinking, let's just go into finance for a second. When they say, you know, people start saying, like even we say, you need to save 50% of your income. And then people that's not financially literate in a sense, they thinking, oh, I have to stop everything I'm doing and save 50% of my income. And so that's why they say, oh, one day I'll make enough where I can save for my income. The truth is, one day you will not make enough to save 50% of your income. It's not an income problem, it's a spending problem. And what I mean by one day you won't make enough to save 50% to instantly go to 50% because life creep happens. Life creeps happen, so you're going to slowly increase your income over time, but then inflation and everything else going going so they think it's an income problem but really it's a spending problem so but they don't think of looking at it as they thinking it's i spend 100 percent. i gotta drastically go to 50 percent tomorrow no just all right this is day one day one let me save five percent of my income and no matter what happens i i uh don't spend it and then see how that goes for a month in the paycheck. And then you'd be like, oh, okay, I can save this. And I have a little bit extra. Then, then maybe go to 10, 15, 20, 25. And then over time, get there to the 50%. But nobody ever mentions that you have to lay into it. And it's not just a drastic instant cutoff, especially for people that's been spending like crazy. Uh, but people that, you know, sick and tired, and like sick and tired of being sick and tired like myself, it was just, I don't have no choice. I just need to cut my nose off and spite my face and just get it done. But for most people, it's going to be a leg. And then they get over, they see that mental block. They see these uh, self-professed profess experts on YouTube and social media saying this, talking about, oh, you need to invest 15% of your income. Hey, you need to invest 25% of your income. How about start day one, you start investing 1%, then go to two, three, four, five, until you get to 15%. Then you gradually start cutting things, then you realize that you don't need things, and then you get to 15%. But they don't have that mental block. They're thinking, so day one, I got to go cut off 15% of what I have, 
and they can never look and see where the 15% is at because they think the number is just so big. So they say, oh, one day I'll get there. They'll just pass it off as, oh, I have an income problem, but they don't look at it as, hey, I got a spending problem. And I know you got the Dave Ramses out there that go into depth about how you can find lost money, but most people can't make that drastic switch from you know, one extreme to the next just overnight. So start thinking day one, no matter what it is, no matter if it's weight loss, no matter what's going on dynamic in the life, just start thinking day one, I'm going to do something towards that goal and then leg into it and then gradually increase that to get to the goal that you're trying to get to. With all that being said, guys, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.